all right everybody in this tutorial I am just going to be going over or expanding on um, token variables once again so last time when I went over it's kind of grouped together and went real fast this is a more in-depth look uh, also be checking out macros since it's essentially the same thing there are two ways you can do this token action the first and easiest way is if you already have your character set up is to click on him in the journals tab up here go to edit come on there we go go to attributes and abilities click add uh, we want to edit this what do we want we will do um, since I have this kind of set up for fourth edition so it doesn't really make sense but let's pretend it's not fourth edition let's say it's reflex safe let's do reflex save okay so now we have our name typed out we will do forward slash roll space 1d20 plus at sign and then we were just going to well it doesn't show it, so we'll do at sign will and we'll just start typing will and or, oh what am I doing not will reflex all right and it automatically pops up or you could or you could just uh, type left weird bracket I forget what that's called the squiggly bracket and then type the name and then write squiggly bracket <laughs> okay so that takes care of that and then we'll try to emote you try to dodge the fire all right go over here and we'll click test ooh see I messed up what was I even thinking there we go. Now we will try. There we go. Hawkbutt Sanoa, you try to dodge the fire. And that's nice, a little nifty. It works out just fine. But that's. We, we already knew how to do that. So then just click as show as token action. Save changes. And now we have reflex save. You try to dodge the fire. Okay. The second way. Go to the macros. Oh man, th this is a complicated one. I don't remember ever doing this one. Okay. So, we will do a new one. Click add macro. We're going to do a reflex. Save. Same basic thing. Uh, slash R or slash roll if you want to be specific 1d20 plus at um, now here's where something we can do a little different uh, if you're the GM and you just want everyone to have a reflex save and they've all set it up the exact same way you can do this uh, the left squiggly line bracket selected just type selected then the pipe character which is just shift and the backward slash and then of course you can continue on with what you're doing um, now it's the reflex attribute is what we are putting in there and as long as everyone has put reflex set up like this so we're going to do look at this real quick see our attributes I have reflex typed out like this um, then I will do the right squiggly line bracket and then slash EM for emote you roll a reflex Oh god, reflex save. 
Alright, now we want to test the macro first. Okay. You roll the reflex save. Fantastic. Um, so... Let me interject real quick, or add on. Um, when you use the macro instead of the abilities and use it as a token action and you do the selected at selected reflex this applies changes across all characters um, as a GM this means that you can roll a reflex save for someone as long as they have spelt out reflex and set, set up the reflex through their character sheet and the attributes but it also means that characters cannot roll for other characters. So you don't need to worry about that because it only because you've specified selected. It will only happen on tokens that the characters or the players, sorry, can select. Okay, continue. I have this character selected. Notice has two reflex saves. I have not done anything to this character. Look at that. Reflex saved. I have set it as token action as selected, which means any character I that selects their token, or as a GM, as I select any token, will pop up as a reflex save. Now I want to add something to this. Attributes and abilities. Edit so we can see that it works properly. Go to attributes. Click add reflex make sure to type it in just like you typed it in in the uh, in the actions all right and we're going to give him an eight okay so now I'm just going to go back to me is it my turn yet click on this guy roll a reflex save and there you go 1d20 plus eight and then I'll go back to this one to show that it's not just me being funky. And there we go, 1d20 plus 4. Alright, I will show you how not to do it now. So we're just going to do reflex save. But this is, it's kind of a pain. So we'll do slash r1d20 plus the then the at left squiggly hawk that's a Noah the pipe symbol reflex all right show us token action absolutely save changes okay so what I did here was I did a macro as a token action and Hawk Bessanoa alright as my target using his reflex alright then I click save but the problem with doing this is that it always uses Hawk Bessanoa's reflex and it will show up on all the characters at least as far as I can tell and it See, this guy, even though he has a reflex of 8, if I click this one, it uses Hawk Bessanoa's reflex. So, don't do it this way. Alright, everybody, that about wraps this up. Yet another one of my Roll20 tutorials. If you have any other suggestions of tutorials that I can do, I will try my hardest to fulfill your wish. If anyone's having some trouble or don't quite understand any of my instructions, just let me know and I'll try to help you out. And if you're having trouble finding a group, uh, the Roll20 forms are a great place to start as well as the Roll20 Looking for Group subreddit. Alright guys and girls, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.